Hey guys, thank you for joining. Have you seen the latest Power BI updates yet? If not, today I'm gonna to show you four new features that were part of the July 2023 Power BI update. So are you ready? Let's do this. The first feature that I wanna to talk to you about is the smooth and leader lines. I have this visual here. So let's select this visual real quick and then click on this option, more options. So once we are here, let's go over the line section right here. So this should be applied to all. And then there is an option here called line type. And as you can see, we have three different options here, linear, smooth, and step. Let's select smooth and let's see what happens. Automatically, you can see these changes right here. So it looks more visually attractive. You can also play with the stroke width here. How about five? So you can do whatever you want. And then the other option that we have here, if you go to data labels, and then right here, this is the option, leader lines. Let's turn this on, check this out. And once you do that, you can make changes here. So the minimum label offset, how about 45? So let's see what happens. And now you can see here, these lines for every single data point. So this is really powerful, my friends. And then you can also, if you wanna keep enriching your visual, you can also change here the type of visual. How about area chart? You can do that as well. Check this out. Very nice, right? So now let's move on to the next one. Customize the paint switcher. So this is also really powerful. So what you see here, this is just a screenshot, but on the right side, here is the option, the customize paint switcher option. So once you click on this option, this new window pops up, the customize paint switcher. And now you can select and unselect the other options right here. How about bookmarks? You can do that. Bookmarks is right there. How about selection? Right there as well. How about performance analyzer? It's there. So you can make any changes. As you may have noticed, the build a visual option is great out here. So what's going on? We can activate this option as well. If you go down a little bit, here is the settings option. Click right here and this new window pops up. So it's loading. It's right here, the paint switcher. You can make this always visible. If you check this option, hit OK. Let's see what happens. Boom. So now you have this option also available and then hit on. And now you have to build a visual feature there available as well. Turn this off. There it is. Turn this on. There it is. Really, really powerful. Play with it and let me know what you think. So now guys, let's move on to the next one. So let's say that we wanna make a couple of changes here for Amarela. Select Amarela here, right click, and then you can see the options here. You can change the color if you want. So let's say that we care about this color right here. Now you can individually change these colors and you can also select any other category here, any other product. So let's say, how about Montana? You select Montana here and then automatically you can make any changes here as well. So let's say this type of green, this is just for the example. And then as you can see, you are good to go. So this is really powerful if you play with this type of visuals. So there's more options here available. So now guys, let's move on to the next one. So this feature is really powerful. You might remember the Power BI is working really hard to have the editing features available in the Power BI service. And there is a new update here. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's publish this file real quick to the Power BI service. Save the changes here. So it's thinking. And now let's use the Power BI updates workspace, select, replace, success, got it. 
So now let's open the Power BI service. Power BI update here. So let's open the data set real quick. And now we have the option here to open the data model. And as you can see, if we select this relationship, now we have these options available to make any changes for this relationship. And as you can see now, we have these options available here to make any changes. Table one is a financial table, table two is a dates table or the calendar table. And then you also have the columns that we're using to create this relationship. You can make any changes here if you want. And then you can also make this relationship active or inactive. You can do whatever you want. The cross filter direction, it's also here. It can be single or both for this particular case. But you can see here that Power BI, the Power BI team is really making improvements to have everything in the Power BI service. There you have it, my friends. I hope you found these features really helpful. If so, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe if you don't wanna miss anything. Also, check these tutorials out, really good content as well if you wanna keep sharpening your Power BI skills. Thank you guys for your time and see you next time.